Using Microsoft OneNote can do a lot more than just organize your materials. So let's add a page and look at some of the math adaptations included. Let's start by creating a new page, Math Support. Now that I have my page, I want to add some math expressions. So let's start with uh, 4 plus 7 equals, and let's do an algebraic expression, 4x times 8 equals, and let's solve this one, equals 72. Now that I've added some equations and expressions, I want to go back to the Insert tab and insert the Math Assistant. This drop-down menu allows you to turn Math Assistant on or off, so if you don't want your students to have these supports, just go right here and turn this off. Once my Math Assistant comes up, now I have some options. I can turn this feature on for a set amount of time, so maybe a half hour, that's all my students get. And I have the options on what they have access to, so whether they need help solving and giving them the steps, whether I want them to graph it, or adding key features. So I set those parameters here, and then I want to close out. Now that I've applied those specific parameters, when I go back to Math Assistant, it gives me a tutorial to get started. So it shows me what I want to do to utilize the Math Assistant and some examples of what that might look like. So let's go back to our page and we're going to highlight this algebraic expression right here. So I highlight the algebraic expression and go back to my Math Assistant. When I select Math Assistant now, it notices the math equation that I've put here on the page. And now I have an option to select an action that I want to do with this. So using the Select an Action drop-down menu here, I can solve for X, I can graph both sides, or I can graph this in two dimensions with just one side. So I'm gonna solve for X, and it gives me the answer right here. And then at the bottom, I have an option to show my steps. When I select show steps, you'll see that it notices that this is a linear equation, and it gives me the math support accordingly. So now I can see exactly the first step, the second step, and so on, till I can get my answer. So this is helpful not just for giving students the answer, but to help them understand why they got the answer that they did. If I choose to graph it, you can see that I have an option to graph just one side or graphing both sides in two dimensions. Once I've created my graph, just below here, I have an option to insert it on the page. So this gives me a little bit of support if I'm practicing graphing things and I want to see an example, or if I need to uh, show this particular graph in my work. There are some other features that are included in the Math Assistant. If I start by solving for X and showing the steps, you'll see I have generate a practice quiz listed right below. When I select it, I choose the number of questions that I would like in my practice quiz and generate. Now Microsoft Forms will automatically create a practice quiz and link it to my educator forms on my dashboard. And this uses some equations and problems that it already has in a bank. So I don't have to create them. So I'm going to go through and just select some random answers. And you can see that it puts the form directly onto my worksheet page. And I can interact with this just like I would any other form. When I submit, I get a completed box. With my completed box notification, I can view my answers. And you can see now that if I'm practicing some equations and I want to see if my graph compares to their graph or I want to test myself, I have the option to generate a practice quiz either as the teacher or as a student.